Hey, hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and today's video obviously is telling you about the books that, well, spoiler alert, books that were chosen for May's book commuter read. So if you're new here, book commuter read is my nonfiction book club. We read every other month. Is that also considered bi-monthly or is that twice a month? Every other month. So we read in March. So in March, we read Hood Feminism by Mickey Kendall. I will link the live discussion if you wanna watch that. And in May, we had people, cause we have a Discord, in the Discord recommend different topics that they would be interested in. And so while we did get some really interesting topics and we'll be saving those for the next vote, Angela, who is my co-host, Literature Science Alliance, her channel will be linked down below. And I were talking and thinking about um, what's going on right now with Ukraine and Russia and how we just don't know a lot about like the history in that era or area and how this really, how this got to be, how it is now, you know, like we both were educated in the United States. And so we know random things like Iron Curtain, Cold War, like there's various things, you know, the Soviet Union, but just not a lot. And so we're like, hmm, since this is what's going on right now, unfortunately, maybe we could take this opportunity to move our um, books out of the US because all of them have been really US centric. All it, most of them, except maybe the first one have all been really around like race. And so it would be nice to take a break from that even though this isn't like some super light topic either. And so it may be too topical, like too like right now for some people and I totally understand if you don't want to participate, but we did put up uh, four books and there was a tie between two of them. And I kept messaging Angela, I was like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. She was like, choose. And I'm like, I don't know. And she was like, well, this is my vote. But then I got an endorsement for this other one. So I was like, well, you know what? Fuck it, we'll do both. So the picks were Red Famine, Stalin's War on Ukraine by Anne Applebaum, if I'm saying that correctly. And so this one takes place in the 1920s. So in 1929, Stalin launched his policy of agricultural collectivization. In effect, a second Russian revolution which forced millions of peasants off their land and onto collective farms. The result was a catastrophic famine, the most lethal in European history. At least 5 million people died between 1931 and 1933 in the USSR, but instead of sending relief, the Soviet state made use of the catastrophe to rid itself of, of a political problem. So I didn't even know that. And you know, you might say, oh, how do you not know that? And like, maybe some people did, but I feel like a lot of people, if you grew up in the United States, maybe you did not study this kind of history, did not know this. So I know that Brie from Locked Booktition, who, if you did not know, she was in the Peace Corps and she lived in Ukraine. So she gave this one a glowing endorsement. And I've recently been listening to Mormon Stories podcast. I know that's random, recommended by Mara, but essentially it's just people who have been in the Mormon church. Some have left or some just have different views now if they consider themselves part of the Mormon church and they just really tell their experiences and I listened to one with I think her name was Ksenia who was from Ukraine um and then moved to the United States moved back moved back to the United States and at the end she recommended two books and this was one of them so I was like well we kind of need to read this one but then I also wanted to read The Gates of Europe A History of Ukraine and I ugh, apologize if I'm pronouncing this name wrong sir he Lucky. Um, because then they, I know Angela wanted to read this one more because this one was a more broad and like, like it says, a history of Ukraine. So this is going back through like the beginning and like to present. And this copy is revised. So this one says that the revised edition includes new material that brings this definitive history up to the present from the election of Zelensky to the role of Ukraine in Trump's impeachment. So this one obviously is telling the history of Ukraine, its ongoing struggle with Russia, um, how it's been shaped by empires that exploited the nation as a strategic gateway between the East and West, from the Romans and Ottomans to the Third Reich and the Soviet Union. So I think we're gonna get a really great perspective of this part in Ukraine, but this centralized time, and then a good overview of the history of Ukraine to the present, and I, I always feel weird when I talk about nonfiction that like is not about happy topics like I'm excited but I am excited to learn um, more about Ukraine because I don't know a lot about Ukraine and so these are the two picks 
I will have them linked down below, of course. So you do not have to read both of these. Don't feel pressured. But if you do want to join us, you can read one or the other or both. I'm going to read both. We'll discuss both in the live show. So maybe if you read one, you can listen to what we say about the other one, decide if you want to read it, you know, whatever your preference. But these are the two choices. But there was another one on the list that I just went ahead and purchased as well. This is not for the book club, but it's one I'm planning to read. It is The Road to Unfreedom by Timothy Schneider, Russia, Europe, and America. So I had mentioned in another video that I had been wanting to, you know, learn more about this topic. And I was talking about books that are really about like the Romanovs. And like, I know that, that wasn't going to help me really understand like the history of Ukraine. It was just like what I had. So anyway, these will be the books that I am going to be reading over the next couple of months to learn more about that area but specifically for book community read if you want to participate we are reading both red famine and the gates of europe you can read one or the other or both um we would love to have you as always so we'll have a in the discord two separate discussions one for red famine the other one for the gates of europe so you can talk with people while you're reading it and then of course in the beginning of june or maybe not the beginning of june i think Angela said maybe we should push it back to give people more time if they want to read both. So sometime in June we will have a live discussion Angela and I and whomever you know what other creator wants to join us to discuss these books. But yeah we did a, we try to do a lot of research to find books that were reputable um, like well written accounts not not to swayed one way or the other but of course we're not from Ukraine we're not from Russia so I hope these are good selections. I hope we can learn. Um, and I think from learning about other cultures, you just gain empathy and we can just understand more what's going on, what's going on. So that's uh, that. Hopefully my rambling made sense and you understand, but as always the Discord is linked down below. I also have a Twitter and Instagram. I'm not always the best at updating them, but I at least always try to put what book we're currently reading. Um, if I do any reading sprints. Last time Angela and I both took a weekend and we hosted reading sprints, so we'll try to do that again. Um, but you know, life is getting complicated and will get more complicated as I get closer to my move. But if we have any reading sprints, I'll post that. And then of course, I'll always share on multiple platforms when the live show is. So I hope you join us. Please let me know down in the comments if you have read either of these or if you do plan to join us and if you are going to read one or both. So that is it from me. I uh, appreciate you watching. And oh, if you're ever wondering how do you join the book club, there's nothing you like have to do. You just read the book and if you want to join the discussion, you can join the Discord that's listed down below. If you don't like Discord, follow the Twitter or the Instagram, or you can just follow me here because I always post updates. And that's really it. I just wanted to encourage more people to read nonfiction. And I feel like when you read it with people and you have people to discuss discuss it with while you're reading it, and then have like a discussion um, when, once the book is over, then that can take away some of the maybe like anxiety and fear people have around nonfiction. So that is it. Hope you join us. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, check out the links below if you want to get either of these books or both. And I think that is it for me. So I hope you all stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreen, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.